In this video, we will be starting the calculation of simple arithmetic mean in case of frequency distribution or you also call it as in the case of continuous series. There are also three methods in this same direct method, shortcut method and your step deviation method. We know what are the continuous series. I have told you in the previous video which have the class from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. So these are your continuous series. So what you do in this, you take the mid value of the class and mid value you consider as x in the same way we used to take the x. So in the direct method you have the formula of summation x bar is equal to summation fm divided by summation f that is mid value into frequency and its sum shortcut method what you do you take the uh, assume mean from the mid values then you take the deviation from the mid values and you find out the arithmetic mean in the case of Step deviation what you do, you take the assumed mean from the mid values, you take the deviation from the mid values and you take the common factor from the mid values. So these, the, there is only difference in the continuous series is that you have to find out the mid value of the continuous series. So let's understand first in the case of direct method. So this is the question. These are the marks obtained in English by the class 10 students and this, these are the number of students. So this variable is your x. This is your frequency so it is f. Now what you do in case of when a series is a continuous series or the frequency distribution series. What you do you calculate the mid value mid value of the class that is 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5 10 plus 20 divided by 2 is 15 20 plus 30 divided by 2 is 25 then 30 plus 40 divided by 2 is your 35 40 plus 50 divided by 2 is 45 so you take the mid values of the class. Now what you do, you multiply this mid value with the frequency. 5 into 20 is 100. 15 into 24 is 360. 25 into 40 is equal to 1000. 35 into 36 is equal to 1260 and 20 into 45 is your 900. Then you take the summation of it, summation fm which is equal to 3620. So what was the formula? It was x bar which is equal to summation fm divided by summation f. Submission F is here. How many students are there? 20 plus 24 plus 40 plus 36 plus 20. These are 140. So, what you do? Use put the values 3620 divided by 140. You get 25.86 marks. You have to find out the average marks in English by uh, class 10 students. So these 25.86 are your average marks. Now, same question we will try to find out using the shortcut method. This is your x, this is your frequency again because these are the numbers and this is the variable. Now find out the mid value. That is 0 plus 10 divided by 2, 5. 
फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी फाइव नाउ यू विल टेक द एज्यूम मीन फ्रॉम दिस मिड वैल्यूज लेट्स टेक यू टेक द एज्यूम मीन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो एज्यूम मीन is twenty five so find out the deviation that is x minus a or sorry m minus a in this case the deviation will be from mid value so m minus a five minus twenty five is your minus twenty fifteen minus twenty five is minus ten twenty five minus twenty five is zero Thirty five minus twenty five is ten. Then forty five minus twenty five is twenty. Now you have taken out the deviation. Now what you will do? You will multiply this deviation from the frequency f into d. So f into d. Sorry, f into d. So twenty into minus twenty is minus four hundred. Twenty four into minus ten is minus two forty. Then zero into forty is zero. Then thirty six into ten is three sixty. Then twenty into twenty is four hundred. So plus four hundred and minus four hundred these are cancel. You are left with three sixty minus two forty. So three sixty minus two forty gives you one twenty. So summation of F D you can find out as one. Twenty. Summation of f is one forty. Now we can use the formula that is x bar a plus summation f d divided by summation f. Here we have taken the assumed mean as twenty five plus summation f d is one twenty divided by one forty. So you get. Again, twenty five plus zero point eight six. So your answer is twenty five point eight six marks. This is the shortcut method or or the deviation method in case of continuous series. Now we will solve the same question using a step deviation method. What you will do? You will take the mid values again: five, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, and forty-five. Now, what you will do? You will again take the assumed mean: twenty-five. So, you'll take the deviation that is m minus a. Which is minus twenty minus ten zero, then ten and twenty. Now you will see the common factor. The common factor is ten. Here also the difference is ten. So what you will do in order to calculate d dash, you will divide it by common factor that is c. So minus two minus one zero one and two. Now what you will do? You will multiply it by frequency. Minus two into twenty, that is minus forty. Minus one into twenty-four, minus twenty-four, zero. Thirty-six into one is thirty-six. Twenty into two is forty. So we'll get a summation f d dash as twelve. So put it in the formula that is x bar is equal to Assume mean plus summation of f and d dash divided by summation of f, which is summation of f is one forty into the common factor that is c. So this is equal to assume mean you have taken twenty five, summation f d dash you have taken twelve divided by one forty into ten. So this is divided by this. So you get twenty five plus Zero point eight six, which is again equal to twenty five point eight six as your answer. So these were the three methods which we can use for.
for solving the continuous series this might be mentioned in your question that solve these uh, this arithmetic mean using step deviation method or the shortcut method or the direct method so you have to follow according to the question i hope you like our video do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us